guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a February favorites, which it feels like is far too early, but February is a short month, so I'm guessing that's why. Although this year it's not. This year it's Jonathan's and my one year wedding anniversary. Mine's are probably blown right now, but it's true. So we officially, like legally got married on the 29th of February, because we thought it would be kind of a fun date. It was a leap year. 20, was it 2012? Yeah, 2012. So um, we technically have only been married for one year, if you think about it. We celebrate our wedding day on like the day that we, you know, had our like proper wedding, like big wedding, which wasn't even that big, which is the 1st of September. But when you like legally, we actually have only been married one year. But we're definitely gonna do something to celebrate this year. But anyway, why am I talking about my wedding? It's a favorites video. I'm going to start with makeup, of course. Number one is of course a lipstick. I bought two new lipsticks this month. One of them was by MAC and it is Max Shy Girl. And this is a peachy nude. I think that's probably the best way I would describe it. It's a real peachy nude on me, like it comes up very, very peach. And I'm not wearing it right now, of course, but I am on my lips right now, I have Rimmel's Airy Fairy, which is like a really old favorite of mine. But this I wear when I'm wearing like more kind of warmer tones and I really, really like it with a very contrasting lip color, um, lip liner, sorry. So the lip liner I've been wearing it with, which Technically these don't match like if I saw these together in like swatched or in a shop I'd be like yeah, they don't go together at all, but on my lips I like them the lip liner I've been pairing it with is also by Mac and it is sore It's very blunt, <laughs> but this is the one that Kylie Jenner kind of like made sell out globally um, a while ago. I think I tried to get this like last year and I couldn't get it and then eventually I did get it It's almost like a movie like a mauvey nude, like a purplish nude, if that makes any sense at all. So technically these two like do not go, but I like the contrast of this with this. I don't know, I just think it kind of looks cool together. I mentioned a makeup palette, I think, and I showed a palette in my last favorites video, and I felt really bad after mentioning it. Not because I have anything against the brand, but just because I ended up getting like a reaction on my eye, and I just felt bad for recommending it because I, it kind of happened like after the fact, so like after I realized what it was. I had to switch my eyeshadow palette, which actually was kind of annoying because I really liked the eyeshadow palette that I mentioned. So I bought myself a new one, and I've always been a fan of Urban Decay's Naked collection. Like, I loved Naked 1, Naked 2, and now I finally got Naked 3. And I don't know why I always take such a long time to jump on the bad wagon with stuff. I think I'm just like that naturally. Like, I like to find things in my own time rather than just do it because everybody else is doing it. So Naked 3, it's very rose gold. I would say like it's very very rose gold when I'm wearing like eyeshadow from this palette on my eyes people have commented that it does look rose gold I have just ruined <laughs> wearing black jeans the colors that I use the most are strange dust burnout limit and nooner nooner I think so those are the ones that I okay this is like Proving to be a little bit messy. I really like this palette. I love the way it looks. I like how it looks like a candy wrapper or something. I don't know, I think it's cool. Next thing is a lip balm. And I actually bought this with our weekly shop. Sometimes I find the most random things on Mikado, I swear. Like my shop from Mikado is just like so bizarre. This is an organic hydrating lip balm. And I got this for myself for like bedtime, you know, like I put it on my bedside table and I put it on every night. And it comes in a little pot. I love the smell. It smells like minty. It's got avocado oil, shea butter, beeswax, peppermint essential oil, like so that's obviously the peppermint smell. Um, but it's by Fushi. I think that's what it's called, Fushi Wellbeing. And it's an organic brand. So I'm kind of trying to get into more organic and natural things, but you know, I don't do everything natural. Basically, I just put this on every single night before bed and it keeps my lips soft and especially this time of year it's important because like when your lips are dry all makeup just looks crap like your lip color looks crap on you and it's like flaking and peeling and it's just gross and that happens to me a lot around this time of year so I'm trying to like keep that away by using lip balm so I definitely recommend this um it's taking a long time to get through like 
that's after a full month of using it. Next is something that I probably should have used a long, long time ago, but I take so long to go through stuff. Like, I'm, I know I've said this before, but I really, really do. I'm not joking. So back in, oh my God, when was it? Back in October, I, well, it was like October, November, I bought a lot of stuff from Bath & Body Works for the first time I'd ever been there in America. And it's only now that I've got to actually using them, which is so bad. But this stuff is freaking amazing. And I know it looks like I haven't even used that much. I've literally been using this for like half the month. But this is Cup of Warmth Shower Gel, and it's vanilla chai and biscotti. Like, oh my god, this is amazing. I just, I love, love, love any kind of dessert scents. You guys know this. This is what I've been loving for bath time, or shower time and then this is the ultra shade body cream and this is probably like the true favorite of the two because i just love how my skin feels and like how my body smells after i put this on and i love using them in combination obviously it's just so fun to have it all matching it's, it says in the back let's indulge in a cup of warmth vanilla chai toasted biscotti a sprinkle of nutmeg delicious sips of comfort i just love how i smell at bedtime honestly i look forward to my shower just so i can use these two products every single night. Next up is kind of a baby or like a toddler favorite so I just wanted to like recommend stuff to you guys if I find them or if I see stuff that I really like for the kids I'll obviously let you know. I kind of tend to stick to the same things a lot though so it doesn't change very frequently but this is one thing that I've been doing different. So for the kids bath time I use Burt's Bees products. I kind of almost always have not always but like it's kind of been a very long time now that i've been using the same amelia started complaining that she hated this the feeling of being sticky when she was going to bed and i know what she meant like she didn't like how you know whenever i'd i'd cream them up and then i'd put her pajamas on and she hated how it would stick to her body she just didn't like that feeling and she finds it kind of uncomfortable so i was like I had received a gift box with a little sample, like 30 ml size of their oil. So it's the Baby Bee Nourishing Baby Oil. I started doing this and what I do, actually Jonathan's mom told me about this like a really long time ago and she used to recommend that I do it too and I probably should, especially like around when you're pregnant, like this is a good thing to do. So when she, she told me that when she's completely wet from the shower, she puts like, and still in the shower, turns it off, puts on all the oil, and then you pat yourself dry with a towel. So you don't rub, you just pat dry with a towel. And then your body is moisturized, but it's dry at the same time. So you can get dressed and like, you don't have to worry about, you know, staining and all that kind of stuff. So that's what I did with the kids. They're not complete, like they're dry, they're not sticky, but they are very soft and like you can tell, like moisturized. And then the next morning they're like completely soft and their skin is like really nice. So. I started doing this, no complaints from Amelia, which is really good, and they really love it, and I love it too, because I love the way they, their skin feels, like, I just, it makes it so soft. This is probably a really weird favorite, like, I feel kind of stupid even mentioning it, but it is a favorite. For the longest time, I'm gonna be completely honest, I did not floss, like, I just, I was so, so bad. And then I went to the dentist here in the UK, and she was like, you need to start flossing, <laughs> like, you need to start flossing and you need to buy an electric toothbrush and she just basically like told me, gave me like good dental hygiene tips, which never had really been given to me before to be fair, but I listened to her and I was like, you know what, I wanna do exactly what she says. So I went to the hygienist, I think six months later, she did a full like, cause I'm, I have Invisalign now, I have to go every six months and she did a full like clean and like check of my mouth. She said it was like a completely different mouth and that's from just, using an electric toothbrush and flossing once a day. And it was like insane, she said the difference was like crazy. Nothing to do with the shape of my teeth or like how they'd moved, like nothing to do with the Invisalign, just to do with like the hygiene of my mouth. So I recommend if you're not flossing daily, do it now, like start now. And you will bleed in the beginning because that's, that's because your gums aren't healthy, but then you won't bleed. Like that's the whole point is that you will bleed in the beginning, but then you shouldn't get that bleeding afterwards like when you start doing it regularly and that's how you know your mouth is healthy so now I don't get any bleeding so I started out with like a normal floss just like a cheapy one that I bought like I don't know even what brand it was and then I noticed when I went to the dentist last time she was using a floss that was way thicker and it was kind of like a ribbon style 
So I went and got the same one, which I think is the same one. It's the Oral-B 3D White Luxe one. And this is actually the toothpaste that I use as well. I use the 3D White toothpaste, but it is like a ribbon, so it's thick. It's not like a string, do you know what I mean? Like it's a thicker ribbon style, and I really like this style, and I feel like you get a better clean. I could be wrong, but I just feel like it gets everything out of there, you know what I mean? One homeware thing that I really wanted to mention, but I have kind of a little bit of a, there's like a little bit of a glitch. Okay, so where Amelia does her ballet classes, it's so random, but like where she does her ballet class is in like the back of a little cafe slash homeware shop and it's teeny tiny it's like in a little village and one of the things that they sell are these candles and it says made in the USA like they're American candles and it's called our own candle company made in the USA up to 100 hour burn this one is three different flavors we've already burned through one and this is the second one so this is pumpkin cream pie hot buns cinnamon and vanilla so I think we're on hot buns right now I also got it in like, I think, pecan pie and oatmeal cookie or something. <laughs> you can tell from like all of my favorites that I'm obsessed with, sweets and cakes and all that kind of stuff. But you know, that's just kind of how I, how I roll. I love the little jar with the handle and like it's kind of got like a tin like cap thing. Anyway, so I really like it. I was gonna mention this in my favorites anyway because I think they're really, really good. The problem is last night it exploded. <laughs> So last night we heard a big bang and literally this had happened like this was over here and this was here and it was still lighting and it had like moved all the way over here and um, the cap was off obviously because it was burning uh, but kind of bad the only thing is I so I checked on here on the top and it gives you like you know where you can where you can call a number and like go to a website and everything. But it does say on here, it says like, do not burn for more than two hours at a time. I literally light this in the morning. I was lighting this in the morning and letting it burn until like 11 o'clock at night. So bad. I obviously wasn't following the instructions. So there's nothing bad about this candle company. It was just me being stupid. But I do think they're really cute. I don't know if you could get your hands on one, but if you could, or if you live somewhere that sells these, I do recommend checking them out. Their scents are amazing. And aside from that little mishap last night, which was probably my fault, um, I do love these candles. We've been trying to uh, cook a little bit healthier and I've been cooking with coconut oil. I'm not gonna open this because it's a new one and I have another one downstairs, but this is Mild Coconut Oil by Biona or Biona Organic and you can literally do everything with this. It smells amazing and it's really healthy to cook with and it's healthier than the other oils that are out there. So I do really recommend this. I just feel like it's kind of made our, our cooking a little bit healthier and it's really good for you as well. Now we're on to the good stuff. So this is what I've been obsessing over and I'm pretty sure I've mentioned this in favorites videos before which is really sad. Especially, I think I got into these this time last year. Because this time last year, same thing. It's like that cold weather, it's not Christmas anymore but it's not spring yet and it's kind of like that in-between season and it's not very nice, like it's not very, well I don't really like it that much anyway because you it's kind of too cold to do a lot of things and you just want to bundle up. I've been enjoying these every single night before bed. These are chocolate hobnobs and if you don't know what they look like, I'm gonna wanna eat it now. I'm so hungry. This is what they look like. So if you don't get hobnobs in your country or you don't know what they're like, they're basically like a really knobbly, like oaty biscuit. And then they've got, these ones have chocolate on the top. You can also get them without chocolate. I think you can get caramel ones, you can get all kinds of ones. But these are my favorites. I eat four every single night before bed and <laughs> I have no shame. Like I need them, it's like my drug. Really recommend these, they're great to dip in tea or coffee. They're so, so delicious and just something about the oats and how it's so like, oh, it just makes you want so many of them but I try and limit myself to four because I, you know, can't overdo it but you can still have cookies. Those are my favorites for the month of February. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and let me know what your favorite favorite was. <laughs> let me know which one you like best or let me know what your favorites for the month were. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. I upload Monday, Wednesday and Friday and I will talk to you in my next one. Bye.